Hi guys, we're here with a lesson. Um, I'm here too. Hello. Um, some people said they wanted to see me, so I, I have no idea why you'd want to do that, but that's cool. I'm here, I'm here. Um, I'm in a different location. Um, I am in the loft room, um, so I am going to do some long division with you today, and let's see how that goes, shall we? All right, cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to set up by looking at one of our long division sums. Now, what we have here is 18. Um, we've got the uh, 378 being divided by the 18. So what we're trying to find out is how many times 378 goes into 18. Now, the first thing I would do here is I would probably write down my um, times table, my 18 times table. Now, the best way to do this is to add 20 each time and take away two. So 18, uh, 28, 38, take away two um, is 36. Now, I would say write down a few of those or see how you go to start with. You don't always need to write them down. But what you can also do um, is, um, I'd say I've got my 18 times table here. I may not need a lot of them. So I would just write down my first couple um, and see how I go. If you know your nine times tables, you know the start of your 18 times tables. Because obviously it goes nine, 18, nine, 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 and so on. So we have a look here. I've got my 18 times tables. I'm going to move that over there. But I will not need all of them with this sum. Trust me, I will not need all of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many times 18 goes into three. Well, it doesn't, does it? You can't have 18 um, going into three. So what I have there is I have a zero. And then I've got to try and figure out what my remainder is. Well, my, my remainder is three. 18 divided by three. Um, oh, sorry, eight, three divided by 18 is zero, remainder three. So what I do is I put my three there. I cross out here, get rid of that. Um, and then I say, now how many 18s are in 37? So I have a look at my 18 times tables. One is 18, two is 36. So I know that there are two, then I need to figure out what I've got left over. So I do my 37, take away my 36, because my 36 is there. And then that's my remainder one. So what I then do is I take my remainder and I put it into there. So basically what I've done so far, 18 into three doesn't go, so I move the three over. 18 into 37 goes twice. 18 times two is 36. So this was 37, so I figure out I've got one left over. So then what I do is I put my one there, and that makes 18. How many times does 18 go into 18? One time. So 18 goes into 18 once. So 378 divided by 18 is 21, or there are 21 18s in 378. So let's have a look at a different one here. Um, again, 20. My 20 times table is easy if I know my two times table. And it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So how many times does 20, I'm going to leave my pen for this one, how many times does 20 go into 6? It does not. So that is a big fat zero going up there. And then the 6 goes there. Now, let's have a look at my 20 times table. How many times does 20 go into 68? It goes one, it goes two, it goes three times. So 20 into 68 is three. Then what I've got left over, I've got eight left over. I could do my sum there, but I know that if it's 68 and I've taken off 60, I've got eight left. So I should be able to do that in my head. Um, and then lastly, how many times does 20 go into 80? 20, 40, 60, 80, four times. So let's double check that. Four, 80, so 30, four. So how many 20s are there in 680? 34. Um, 680 divided by 20 is 34. We'll do one more. I'm going to give you some questions to do. So 14, uh, so 784 divided by 14. Once again, I get my 14 times tables. You can write these down. And again, if you know your seven times tables, you'll recognize all of these as the in-between bits. Um, so 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many times seven goes, 14, sorry, goes into seven, and that goes in no times, but then I put my seven there, get rid of it there. How many times does 14 go into 78? Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five times. So that goes in five times. And then what have I got left over? So it's 70, um, we went up to, um, 78 is where I want to go up to. Oh no, wait, 84. So what I can do here is I can say, actually, yeah, it goes into 78. So it goes into 78 that amount of times. Um, what have I got left over? 
um, 70 to 78. So then I put my eight there and I've got 84. And then it goes in one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times. So my answer is 56. No remainders, no need for anything else. So I hope that helps out. What I'm gonna do now, set you a quick challenge. Um, so there are some questions here. I'm gonna um, just pause for a moment, um, but you can pause the video for as long as you need. So to have a go at these, here we go. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine questions for you to be getting on with. So pause your video, have a go at those questions. And once you've done that, I will show the answers. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, 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 cool. All right, there we go. So you should have paused, you should have come back and hopefully we are getting the right answers. And there we go. So question one was 94, question two, 44, question three, 77, question four, 66, question five, 65. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Question six, 52, um, question seven, 57, question eight, 85, question 984 if you're still struggling go back through the video go back and have a look at what we did as we went through um, and hopefully um, that will help anyway guys thank you very much for your time it's been a pleasure and I will see you soon